Hello everyone, I'm Professor Lee of Dr. Wild Love TV. The world's number one food for improving hyperlipidemia, red is rice. Today, I'm going to tell you how to improve hyperlipidemia with red is steamed rice. I already introduced red is rice in other video. Where this rice contains monocholine K, which has the same structure and action with refrigerative prescription drug Robostatin. Let's look at the actual scientific data behind a total of 35 clinical studies published until 2023. Summary of result is when taken red this rice for more than four weeks, reduction rate of total cholesterol is 13 to 18 triglyceride 8 to 23 and bad cholesterol LDL cholesterol 8 to 29 and HDL cholesterol which is good cholesterol increased by about 2.5 in hyperlipidemia and diabetes patient with severe drug side effects is so severe that it is difficult to take the medication when red slice is combined with the diet LDL cholesterol level decreased by 21%. There are many ways to take red yeast, especially in countries where rice is the stable food. The method of cooking red yeast rice is very good. However, since you are eating it to treat a disease, you should not cook it lawfully. First, you need to search the internet and purchase red yeast rice. Please note, one, the monocholine K content per gram of the purchased product is indicated. 2. A toxin called citrinin produced during the fermentation process of red yeast rice it must be marked below the safe level. The most important thing is to accurate calculation of monocholine K content. The amount used in the clinical study was based on the amount of monocholine K to 24 mg per day the current recommended dose of monocholine K per day is 4 to 8 mg to improve hyperlipidemia because it must be taken for a long time it is safe to follow the recommended dosage and start with the lowest amount 4 mg and after months check your cholesterol level then you can adjust the amount let me show you a real example the reddest rice I purchased there is a monocholine K content analysis table from the Korea Functional Food Research Institute. If you look at the table at the slide, one gram of reddish rice contains 0.05 mg of monocholine K. In 10 gram, monocholine K is 0.5 mg. 20 gram, monocholine K is 1 mg. Because we need to take 4 mg a day, we can eat 80 gram of this product. To summarize, 80 gram of reddish rice per day and add white rice. You can cook white rice according to your own quantity. Now, let's actually cook steamed rice. First, measure the weight of the empty container using an electronic scale. It's about 20 gram. The daily intake of white rice for an adult is about 450 gram. Subtract the 80 gram, the weight of the reddish rice. Then the amount of white rice is 370 gram. Since the empty container weighs 20 gram, 390 gram will do, right? Now we have measured the amount of white rice we will eat per day. You can adjust it according to your meal amount. Now. We need to measure 80 gram of the reddish rice, right? Because the empty container is 20 gram, it should be 100 gram on a scale. Now it's 100 gram. Adjust the amount of white rice according to your own quantity, but the amount of reddish rice must be precise. Because although it is food, it is also medicine. Wash the white rice well as usual and put it in the rice container. Do not wash reddish rice. 
this is because the actual components are washed away just fully clean even over the white rice now the steamed rice is ready how does the rice taste no need to worry a salted scent is added to the white rice much better than the white rice it's very delicious oh the color is pretty too there is a mild good scent and it has a slightly nutty taste it's really worth eating it's much more delicious than white rice it is delicious even if you just eat this without eating anything else oh good One more important thing to mention is reddish rice has other proven effect. One, reduced mortality due to cardiovascular disease. Two, improved important indicator of arterial sclerosis, such as size of arterial plaque, stiffness of artery, etc. Three, it even improved diabetes. Therefore, people with diabetes or arterial sclerosis it's good to use reddish rice. It's good to know the various use and cautions of reddish rice. Dr. Wild of TV, World's Top 10, Proven Effective Against Hyperlipidemia. Please refer to the Part 2 lecture video. Everyone, eat delicious red.